get stuff together. That was the title. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Amen. 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 Because the devil ain't playing. He don't, he don't want your stuff, but he'll mess with it. He'll take that too, but he really wants your soul. That's what he wants. The battle of God. The devil comes at us like that. Anything that causes us not to have trust in God, to not do the things of God, that's the pleasure he wants. There's nothing in hell. And I don't want to go down that way. I don't want to see nobody down there. Amen? Amen? I'm trying to walk this walk. I am in the newness of Christ. Old things, he said, old things are passed away. Why are you still doing those old things? Why are you going fishing in that pond? He said, I've thrown them in the sea of forgiveness. Why are you going fishing and bringing that stuff back to you? Opening up those portal holes. Then you want somebody to sit here and wrestle with you and your demons. And pray you out of all this stuff that you can that you can keep those doors closed. You got to keep these doors closed. It's that we got it. We got to be also careful to keep the keep make sure there's no altars there. So we got to be careful, y'all. Keep them doors closed. All things have passed away. You gotta be reconciled with God. Reconcile back to Him. He's a loving Father. He's yes. mad close. He's closer than a friend. Yes, yes. Be a father even when you got a father. Be a mother. He's all that we need, y'all. He's our everything. Yes. He's our everything. And we got to trust him. It's not in our jobs. It's not in the house. It's not in the cars. It's not in our stuff. But it's all in Jesus. Amen. It's Jesus. It's Jesus and him alone. If my husband, God forbid, they happen to him, I still got to keep running this race. I got to do what he called me to do. God has a mandate on each one of our lives. We got to give it an answer for this thing here, this call. He ain't called us to sit in these chairs to come to church, dress up pretty, and think we all this and that. He, he called us to do a work for this kingdom. There's so much work out of here to be done. We ain't got time to be hating on one another. Amen. We ain't got time to worry about what kind of shoes she got on. You women know what I'm talking about. How her hair look. We ain't got time to be worried about that. We got, we got to do our father's business. Jesus said, I came to do the will of the Father. We have to do the will of the Father. We have a role model. T.D. Jakes is not my role model. Come on, one of the I love her, but she's not my role model. Jesus Christ is the perfect role model. She can encourage and impart, but Jesus Christ is the one that got to keep my eyes apart. Keep my eyes on this prize. So we don't have time to be worrying about nobody else. Oh, but they ain't preaching like that. No, I, I don't care. Just give me the word. All I want is this. Feed me this that I may grow. Feed me this word right here. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm going to go oh, Holy Spirit show and I to fit y'all. I have none of this is on my notes. <laughs> I told you about that. So we got to keep it real. Mm -hmm. Got to keep it real. We got to walk the things of God. Nothing should come before him, y'all. Even when we take Holy Communion. So many octopus, they can't take the communion because of sin. We got to check the sin. Or he's going to check us up out of here. We got to check it. We got to put this flesh up under subjection. It don't do what it want to do. The only time it be glorified if you allow it to be glorified. But every day, Paul said, I kill it every day. It don't desire the things of the Lord. Read your Bible. You'll feel a sleepy spirit. 
Next thing you know, you're God. It don't it want to sleep. It don't want to worry. But you, sometimes you have to. Hey, you're going to listen to this word today. That's what I'm to my Whatever work for you now, that's what work for me. Sometimes I keep reading that. Uh-uh, not today. We got, I got to get this word in me today. I'm telling you, this flesh is something else. You're not wrestling against no flesh and blood here, y'all. These are principalities. These are, this is strong stuff here. And you and the enemy, we always hear, oh, I want to go farther. I want to go in a higher dimension. Take me higher. You ain't doing the way you at. Oh, no. You want to go higher, but every higher links, there is higher demons. And they ain't backing down. They ain't backing down. And I'm saying, oh, God, have mercy, Jesus. I had to call for some sisters about a week ago. Oh, but I don't know what God is doing. Say, honey, you in another realm right now. That what you was doing then, it ain't working right now. You're going to have to do some real, you're going to have to really start war. Amen? So we've got to be careful. You better grow up. I told them yesterday. I told my daughter, she came down from Atlanta, and my son from um, Lexington, um, Columbia. I said, let me tell you, I saw Apostle Gumbo now. I bet y'all will grow up now. I bet you go, you in that covering, oh, that, that show up, you gonna feel some body if you don't get it, straighten it up. You gotta ask God to make those crooked roads straight in your life. And I've been real with them. You better go have to go after getting him. Oh, don't be calling. Where you gonna call him? What are you gonna do? The ministry going on, but what are you gonna do? You got to grow up. It's a point in time in your life that you got to grow up. She finished the race. Not just one ministry, it was three ministries. A mother, they call her the mother of a nation. What are you going to do? When you can't find nobody, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay there and cry? Or are you going to get up and fight? You got to have that word in you to fight this fight of faith. Amen. We got to stand, y'all. When everything else seems like it's sleeping around us, we got to stand on his word. He's a man of his word. He's a man of his word. You can go to the bank and withdraw off of this word and it never come insufficient. It never come insufficient. Now you can keep hitting your card after a while and say insufficient. But this never say insufficient. He a man of his word. You better remember that he's a man of his word right here. He tells us plainly to make Reminding me of the word that God don't know the word. He is the word. In the beginning was God. In the beginning, the word. And the word was what? With God. And it became flesh. So he know the word. Remind me of the word. I hasten to my word. It's not going to come back to me, boy. He's not a man that he should lie. And he's a son of a man. He got to repent for anything. He's God. And it's in his will. It's in his plan. And if he does he don't done enough. He don't done enough. He don't done enough. Amen. We need to learn how to pray.
And I was instant. I've been right there. And I, you know, I've been there with Shaq and I've been there, you know, being a single parent and all of that. Y'all, ain't nobody like God. When he cleaned you up, he don't have to do it. That's right. That's right. I was in a situation, sis, where God wouldn't let nobody help me. At all. He wouldn't let nobody help me. I even had eviction notice on my door. I said, you brought me from Bonwood to the end to embarrass me like this. I didn't. I had my own, I told God like that because I said, you know, I had my own thing in Bonwood because I thought I had it going on. Uh, spring townhouse, you got me here in the projects. God will do that. He not to get you low. Come on, Come on. At first, I couldn't understand it, y'all. I said, God, I have my own trailer. I just bought the thing probably about four years ago. Nice, hard one to when you walk in. And I'm here in the projects. Took me to the project. And he reminded me, you spoke some stuff over your life. You said that the ones in the projects, oh, I might as well live in the projects. They live in rent free over there. I ain't got to pay this here mortgage and all that stuff. God quickened me with that. He said, "Remember, you spoke that. Yeah. Gotta be careful with what you speak out of your mouth. That's why I told you earlier today: stop all that cursing when you get home. Stop all that foolishness when you get to the house. Cause you ain't do nothing. Speaking things over your life, speaking it over your children. Wonder why they can't come in? Because of the things you don't spoke. You gotta go back and repent of that thing. Yes, sir. And ask God to part the time off of that stuff. He's a faithful God. He'll do that." Ain't nobody got no witchcraft on y'all. Or me either. It's the things that we have already spoken over our lives. With the things our mother and father have spoken over our lives, they come to visit. That's why you got to know how to cut this mess off. Amen? Amen. That's the problem. Who hindered you? Ain't nobody be with you. You be with yourself. You be with yourself. You get in yourself with the sin. You want to say, you got to walk up right with them. And if you let, and if they still don't receive, you better be praying to God that he will send neighbors to minister to your children. Because sometimes we don't mess up that they can't see nothing but the mess. Yes. Amen. 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 They can't see anything but the mess. But you pray to God. I messed up, Father. I sent somebody to minister to the children. He faithful like that. Yes, yes, yes. That's the problem why our children don't receive us sometimes. Because they don't see you walk in the walk. Stop lying. You heard me tell you that today. Stop all that lying. Stop being a hypocrite. Just just your phone shut and say, hey, I mess up. Yes, Learn to be discreet about things. Some people just put it way out there. And then they wonder why the children don't have no respect. A lot of things we do. And we think it's right, but it's not right. It's not right, y'all. I didn't come to hoop, I didn't come to holler. I'm just a real man to live in the mail. I don't know his address, but you can step it and send it back to the center. In other words, you can receive it or you can reject the word. That's totally up to you. But stop all the lying. Stop it. Because you can't play with God. This is grace and mercy. While you're still here. But I'm going to tell you something. It's going to come a point in time where no more mercy. Hell is real. Hell is burning. It's not his will that in. He tells us in there. He says, it's not my will. I get no pleasure. I don't even know wicked going to hell. But it's about a choice. You can't serve two masters. You either go love one or hate the other. Or you can be loyal to one and disloyal to the other. Jesus said, I can handle it if you're cold for me. I can handle it if you're hot for me. He said, but the lukewarm, I'll speak you out of my mouth. In other words, you make me sick on my stomach. That's what he's saying. You're making me sick. On my stomach. Amen. 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 So I encourage you to get yourself together. You know where you've fallen short at. 
Ain't nobody got to come and lay no hands on you. Ain't nobody got to prophesy. You know you. You know you. You know your shortcoming. You keep running to them prophets, they will pull something, expose your, expose your business out there. He playing with it. He playing with God and will expose you. You need to get yourself together. Get yourself together. Amen. Now, I'm not saying it for you to be afraid of them, but you know, some people be wanting them prophecies. You want to hear about cars and houses and stuff like that. And we, who don't want those nice things? God wants us to have those nice things. But we got to get this together. Yeah. That stuff, will, all of it going to go away. But where will you, where will you spend eternity? That's, that's the real answer. That's what, that's what you need to be dealing with. I thank you for what I got. I don't care if it was a three, uh, three tires, one bad or none. I thank God for the bad tire too. Amen. Amen. I thank God for it too. I thank you for what he's given me and that's it. Amen. I can't know what I tell him. I can't repay you for what you did for me on okay? camera. But here I am. Here I am. I don't have silver. I don't have the gold, God. But all I got is me. Use me. Use me. Amen. 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 Father, we just thank you and we give you the praise and we give you the glory, Father God. Father, I pray that all that I said that was pleasing to you, God, if I said anything that you did not say, God, I ask you to forgive me. Lord, I got to ask you, God, to bless the people, Lord, God. Let this word go before them, Lord, God. Let this word stay in their memories, Lord, God. That they will examine themselves, God. And even if they will ask you, God, with your pure eye, Father, to examine them, God, examine them. Reveal to them, God, when they're falling short, Lord, God. And Father God, you even said that even a just man falling, but he rise. God, rise him back up. Oh, God, to do your will, Father. To do your will, to give you the praise and to give you the glory. And we just thank you, Jesus. We can't pay you for what you did on Calvary. God, we don't have the silver, we don't have the gold. God, and even if we had millions and millions of dollars, God, we could never repay you for what you did for us. So, Father, we just thank you and we glorify your name today. God, we give you all praise and all honor, Lord God. Every crooked road in our life, God, we ask you right now. Come on and pray. I'm asking you right now to make this road straight in our lives. Father, we need you to bring these mountains down. We need you to bring the valleys up, God, that we're able to walk on a plain field, God. And we need strategies and wit. We need strategies and tactics, God. We need, God, knowledge, wisdom, and a revelation. Father, I pray always, don't let the enemy walk up on us suddenly. But I need you, God, to give us strength to just stand. Father God, you said, but it ain't nothing else for us to do, God. You told us just stand and see the salvation of the Lord. You told us under these Egyptians that we see or will see no more, Lord. Father, I'm asking you to shut the mouths of the fighters that's concerning us, Lord God, to speak to these false, very false witness against us, God. Father God, we ask you to deal with even with our children, God. Let them see you in us, Lord God. Let our children God, Lord, let there be a change in our lives, Lord God, that they will come like madness, what is this God that we serve? And Father, I give you the praise and I give you the glory, y'all. Come on and cry out to God. Come on and repent to it. Hallelujah. Him said you need to repent. Hallelujah. God, we ask you to forgive us for our sins. God, we ask you right now. Come on, as I pray. You call it out. You know what you are, what you're struggling with, God. Whatever it is, He's here today, y'all. The anointing is in this place today.
Thank you.